Well, got to the courts early here, partner stuck in traffic. What are you going to do, right? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you seven ways that you can improve your tennis game by yourself, and we're not even going to use the wall. Let's get started. Alright, right out of the gate, before we get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notifications if you're interested in videos that show you how to become a better tennis player and have a lot of fun doing it. Now, what can we do if we're on the court alone? Well, the first thing you want to do is make sure that your body is warmed up and ready to go. All right, if you just get out of bed, well, your body is not going to respond well, all right, if, unless we warm it up some way. So I'm going to link down below to a video that is my favorite dynamic activation warm-up of all time. Okay, and I'll link to that down below. You don't want to do static stretching before you come out. You don't want to go down and hold 30 seconds like the last video I made. You want to get your body ready for action. Now the second thing you want to do is you want to have some kind of a footwork type of warm-up, okay? Tennis is a game that's all about movement, right? And bad line calls. <laughs> But you want to have some type of movement that you're throwing in to get your body ready to move. And what I like to do is what I'm showing you down here on the screen is a series of these foot tappers just so you get your feet used to leaving the ground and striking the ground, getting you used to dynamic movement, followed by some side shuffling across the court because as we know, there's a lot of lateral movement in tennis. In fact, very little forward and backward strictly. We might move diagonally, but we're going to be moving um, along the baseline and in diagonal ways. So we want to warm up that side shuffle. And then finally, we want to do some version of the karaoke step, which is if you're really studying footwork and you want to improve your footwork, this is a foundational uh, footwork pattern that'll allow you to smoothly get back to your recovery spots and singles or just get to more balls in general. Now the third thing we want to do is some form of hand-eye coordination warm-up, okay? And you can see me bouncing a ball here. Now this looks very elementary and very simple, but really what we're doing is we're developing an awareness of what it's like to hit the center of the strings. A lot of us haven't hit the center of the string since 1994, okay? So we can start that by doing some downs, some ups, some of these figure eight volley patterns that you see some spins, and even going with the edge of the racket, just to develop an awareness of where your racket is in space. All right, the next thing we want to do is start to warm up the serve, okay? So what we do is we take a ball, head over to the old back fence here, and just practice nice, loose serves, warming up your arm, warming up your shoulder, and really getting a feel of the coordination of your serve. I really like this because you don't have that pressure of hitting the ball in the box and you can really focus on just loosening up your arm and really developing that rhythmic fluid serve that you want to practice. Incidentally, the Simple Serve 2.0 and the Serve Doctor, which is a course that sold for $97, totally free now on YouTube. I'm going to link to that down below. Check out that video series if you really want to develop your serve into a weapon step by step um, and do it quickly. Okay, the next thing we can do is warm up the overhead, okay? This is the most missed shot in doubles. You see it all the time, and you can practice this on your own. Just get a racket in a continental grip, pop the ball straight up, kind of circle around the ball, set up, and hit your overhead. But this is just another thing that you can do while you're waiting for your partner to get here. Warm up the overhead. You never know when it's going to come in handy, all right? Now the next thing is really my secret weapon, and that's the eye coach. Okay, if you don't have an eye coach, I'm going to link to uh, their website down below. You can get a discount on it by using the promo code RUSA. Basically, what this tool does is it allows you to solve the number one problem that most players have on their ground strokes, which is lifting their head too early. Right? We all do it. We get curious. We want to know where the ball's going. Well, did you know that by lifting your head is by as little as a tenth of a second before contact, you can totally alter where your racket face is in relationship to the ball. So you're literally creating more and more shanks just by lifting your head at the last moment. And you can completely solve that by working with the eye coach and retraining your brain to stay with your head through contact. And as a side benefit, you can also work on different aspects of the swing like I outlined in how to make the easy forehand every time, also linked down below. And we can work our rhythms, so starting to get a, a feel of the rhythm of your swing, 
as we um, as we approach contact. Tennis is so much about rhythm. And finally, as you can see me doing here, we can work on side to side, hitting forehands and backhands, moving in that nice C-shaped pattern that you want to be doing as you're circling through shots. All right, so the iCoach is a great tool for that. Again, promo code with the discount down below. And finally, the last thing you can do, number seven, is visualize. Okay, this is one of the most powerful tools, especially after you've gone through your physical warm-up. You've developed an awareness of what it feels like to hit a good shot. We've got our body moving. Now we can actually visualize and see ourselves playing the way we want to play, which will literally program your mind and your body to work in unison uh, to play as well as you possibly can when your buddy actually does get out of, <laughs> out of traffic. So this is seven ways that you can improve your game um, while you do that. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor and click the like button down below. Let me know in the comments of any uh, videos that you'd like to see in particular. And don't forget again to hit the subscribe button and the bell notifications and share this with somebody who, uh, who you know might be waiting on you <laughs> when you come to the court. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.